show made in Hollywood is your guide to all that's hot in theaters now. in the dramatic comedy, Joy. I love meeting her. She was just unbelievable. So nice. I loved spending time with her, but she's also, she's just such an impressive presence. And Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg go mano a mano in the family comedy, Daddy's Home. <laughs> the great thing about it is Will sets the tone. The, the, the set is very loose and fun. Um, they're very open to collaborating. This week on Made in Hollywood. Hi, I'm Harrison Ford. I'm Luke Bracey. Hi, this is Will Ferrell. And I'm Mark Wahlberg. You're watching Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood. You're watching Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood. Star Wars The Force Awakens is on track to possibly be the biggest movie of all time. And the characters from the previous films are back to pass the torch on to the next generation of Jedi, Rebels, Sith, and Stormtroopers. Hi, it's J.J. Abrams, director of Star Wars The Force Awakens, and here's a scene from the trailer. I was raised to do one thing. I've got nothing to fight for. who I wrote the script with uh, and I started working on the story and he wrote Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi so he knows something about the Star Wars universe we are here on day one of Star Wars episode 7 yeah yeah how incredible is that he said the only mandate we should have is that the movie is delightful and what he meant by that is not that it's always happy or, or, or silly but that that the story be the kind of story as Star Wars always was that just surprises you at every turn, that makes you laugh, that makes you feel, has a big heart. There are stories about what happened. I have to know what it's like for you over 30 years later stepping onto the set and seeing life-size version of this and the Millennium Falcon again. It was fun to be back. It was fun to play the character, especially since I think the script was well-crafted to give me the opportunity, the character, the opportunity for some unanticipated influence over the, over the lives of some of the other characters. Obviously, you're imagining a story. You're creating a story as you go along, but you didn't have to imagine any of the extra things. You didn't have to imagine the heat or the dirt or the sand because it was there. You didn't have to imagine the little droid next to you because the droid is there. So, yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> One of the things that made the, the first Star Wars films feel so authentic and so legit was that they were. They were things that were shot often in places like Tunisia. This was all to actually film on actual film the story we were telling and not just do it against blue or green screen and put it in later. This is crazy. Just look around. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It was all real. It was all in front of me, and I felt like I was in a different, on a different planet. Participate in a uh, in a world we could believe in, but was beyond our personal imagination, and that we were led there um, by a master storyteller. Really fun, great characters, and of course, Han Solo would be my favorite. I was uh, exposed into a new level of, of, of geekness. I was just enthralled by it. Mm -hmm. It was so magical. It, it literally transported me to a different place. It took me into a different universe. Mm -hmm. And a universe that I wanted to be a part of. Right. There were Wookiees and there were robots and and robots that you fell in love with and, and women with really strong personalities that wouldn't take no for an answer. The goal that we had was to take people back to a place that they've been before, but not for nostalgia, but to tell a brand new story that moved forward.